I came across more articles about uh, Muslah Khan. I have done videos in the past, a video in the past, which I'm going to link about the Toronto police chaplain who is uh, Muslah Khan. Muslah Khan is a Canadian Saudi born Imam. He studied in the Islamic Institute of Medina. And I'm going to link uh, some links in the description. Please do go visit the description and read the links. You're going to find them quite fascinating. He is affiliated with the Islamic Institute of Toronto. Now, he serves as a chaplain for the Toronto police. He was given this position in October 26 of 2016 is when he was appointed this position. Now, on top of being the uh, the Toronto Police Muslim chaplain, he is also part of the Toronto Police Muslim Consultative Committee. And he was a member of the RCMP Counter Terrorism Committee, a man who he graduated, by the way, from the Islamic Institute of Medina. This is who um, the Toronto police had on their counter-terrorism committee, somebody who graduated from an Islamist Institute of Medina. And when you go to the description and you read the article that I'm going to put there, you will understand why this is a big problem because the university he went to is actually a very uh, radicalized uh, university that has given itself a name because they teach, they bring in students from all across the Muslim world, completely indoctrinate them and brainwash them with the most aggressive form of Salafi Islam, Wahhabi Islam, and then and then and then uh, pump them back to their countries where they begin to gradually eradicate moderate islam in their countries and replace it with this hostile radical element very similar to what we are witnessing in canada right now what is happening across the world right now by the way and i'm sorry i'm going on a little rant is that moderate islam is being replaced with radical islam and you're not having much of a say about it. You're being told that this is going to happen, period. Back to the story. Now, the Toronto police chaplain who was officially appointed on uh, the 26th of October of 2016 has a Facebook page. I urge you to go visit it because in this Facebook page, he says, that he's committed to spreading a message of wisdom and understanding through Quranic analysis, which empowers Muslims to integrate with the broader community. That's what he states. Muslim Khan, there was a question and answer uh, thing, meeting or event that happened in 2015. It happened in the Ummah Nabawiyah Mosque in Ontario. This question was asked to Muslim Khan. He was asked about Aisha, who this is, you know, Aisha is the, the child bride of Muhammad in Islam. He married her when she was six, and the marriage was not consummated until she was nine years old. Uh, Muhammad was also a polygamist. He had like almost 12 wives. So he was a, you know, he liked little girls, and he also liked a lot of women. So the question that was asked was nine-year-old she was young and why is this allowed he was asked about aisha like why is this allowed in islam the toronto police chaplain's response was the following he said okay you tell me what the age is to get married what is the age that you should get married puberty what else he said what's the age here in toronto in canada to get married what's the minimum age he asked. 16 with parental consent, right? You actually have to have a guardian to sign the document that allows you to get married at that age. When you're, I believe, 18, 
then you can do it on your own. In some parts of Europe, it's 15, he said. Okay. In some parts of Africa, it's even lower than that, he said. Everywhere you go in the world, you're finding different ages. So what is the real age to get married if it's so different everywhere you go? The answer is our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, the age of puberty. Uh, puberty. That's the final decision. Then he goes on and says, at nine years old, you know, you were mature enough like he's talking about back then, in, in the time of Muhammad, and you could get married. You could have a child. But our society is so socially poisoned. Can you imagine this? This is the chaplain, the chaplain whose job is to hold the morale and, and uh, to become a spiritual leader for police and military and guide them with their communities with the, like you know when there's an issue that needs guidance why <laughs> this is what he's saying he's saying that our society is socially poisoned then when we hear the figure nine year old girl we jump at the conclusion right away without looking at the circumstances uh, circumstances without looking at the culture and by the way, statistically, guess how many nine-year-olds got married from the time of the prophet? I don't know how he has the statistic, but he has it. Peace and blessings be upon him until today, he asked. Guess how many nine-year-olds in the world have been married? Less than 1%, he says. It's literally nothing. From all the way of the prophet, peace and blessings upon him until now. Like, it's like, you know, it's almost like he's saying we need more. Let's, let's, let's marry off more little girls because this number isn't enough. Let's make more suffer. Let's, let's abuse more children. This is the moral compass of the Toronto police? I'm sorry. There seems to be a problem. <laughs> This man's moral compass does not align with anything Canadian. Why is he talking about the age of marriage in Africa and, and different parts of the world? Why is he talking about Muhammad, a, a desert man, caveman, from 1,000, over 1,400 years ago? Why are we comparing this to today and now in Canada? I'm very, very confused here, guys. This man's moral compass does not align with the Canadian Constitution. It doesn't align with your Charter of Rights. It doesn't align with the Criminal Code. It doesn't align with the policies of the Toronto Police Service itself. Why is Muslah Khan the chaplain of the Toronto Police? And, and, and why, why is 1%, first of all, I, I want this number. I, I really want to see the study. I, I want to see this research that he's, has, he's quoting, which he hasn't given, by the way. There's videos of this man advocating for essentially hostility towards a woman in a marriage and subjugation of women. There is articles and videos and sermons going around by him advocating for child marriage, especially of girls. I, I haven't seen him advocate for the child marriage of nine-year-old boys, by the way. He seems to be focused on girls. What, what is this? Well, who is this man and why is he here? And, and then what's his association with, the, with John Tory, the, the Toronto mayor? Um, and like the, the police board itself, are they aware of all of this? Have they seen his sermons? Have they heard him speak? Do they know that he advocates for the marriage of nine-year-old girls? I hope, 
I, I really do hope people be start to bring this stuff uh, to the attention of um, Mayor John Tory and maybe the Toronto police uh, itself as well as their board. I'll, I'll try to find out who the Toronto um, Police Association who sits on their board and, and link it in case you guys want to talk to them uh, about some of this stuff because child marriage is just another name for pedophilia.